The United States is in a perpetual state of war because the bankers control the politicians and they read the script as given to them by the banksters and they make huge amounts of money off of this. What this gentleman is saying about the United States not wanting war, not wanting to get involved is like Iraq 2.0. It's a repeat of the same rubbish that was said, oh we don't want war, uh, you know, war is a last resort. That's absolutely untrue, it's a lie. Those that are in government are nothing more than prostitutes who are carrying out the orders of those who are in charge of them and those that are in charge want another war. And part of that is what we discussed earlier, the Greater Israel Project, to destabilize any Arab regime which might have any kind of autonomy and self-determination. Any regime in the Arab world that is not an absolute puppet cannot be tolerated. And who are the nations that we target? Those that are not puppets. We don't target those like the Saudi regime, which is the biggest human rights violator in that region. It's cutting off people's heads in public, cutting off hands. It is the most grotesque regime on the planet, and yet we give that regime weapons, and it's no problem whatsoever. The duplicity and hypocrisy of the United States and the West can't even be measured. It is so enormous. And these mouthpieces, such as this gentleman in Washington, is only doing a disservice to himself and his country. And the fact is that American sons and daughters will get involved in this yet again, and these chicken hawks who are pretending to care about the Syrian people are going to be sacrificing not their own sons and daughters. I would like this man to send his sons and daughters and his grandchildren off to Syria when this turns into a greater conflict because this is what we're flirting with is a world war. A third world war. This is not a joke. We are flirting with a third world war on the basis that apparently we care so much about the Syrian people just like we care so much about the Iraqi people and the Afghani people. The only people that buy this sort of stuff are either bought off prostitutes or the dumbest of the dumb. And we're also led to believe that Assad is the dumbest idiot dictator on the planet now, isn't he? Because he invited UN inspectors to come in and he brought them in on the very day that they come in, he decides to attack his own people 10 miles away from where the inspectors arrive. This is beyond ridiculous and the only people that buy this again are bought off prostitutes or the dumbest of the dumb.